News Army. Israeli Prime Minister to discuss Iran nuclear pact in Germany. Encouraging evidence that Israel's attempt to prevent the deal's resuscitation is succeeding, according to Yair Lapid. He's taking a group of Holocaust survivors to meet with Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor. On Sunday, Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid landed in Germany as part of a campaign to convince Western nations to abandon plans to restart a nuclear accord with Iran. The German President, Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor, and the Foreign Minister, Annalena Baerbock, are all set to meet with Lapid on Monday. On Saturday, the United Kingdom, France, and Germany voiced doubts about Iran's commitment to reviving the nuclear agreement reached in 2015. In a cabinet meeting before taking off, Lapid expressed gratitude to the three nations for their strong posture. The Future of the Iran Nuclear Agreement Initially, Israel was a vocal opponent of the agreement since it was widely believed that it would not prevent Iran from developing a nuclear weapon. With the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JCPOA, signed in 2015, Iran received sanctions relief in exchange for limitations on its nuclear program. In 2018, then-U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew from the accord and reinstated sanctions on Iran. However, since April 2021, talks have been taking place in Vienna to try to salvage the pact. It's not finished yet. The road is long. But there are positive signals. Lapid told his cabinet after reporting that Israel is undertaking a successful diplomatic push to block the nuclear agreement and prevent the easing of sanctions on Iran. Earlier this month, Iran said it had submitted its latest response to the European Union's proposed language to renew the agreement. Iran did not comment on its reaction, but yesterday U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called Iran's new response a backward move.